it's time with Tip Bay. A good Monday to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I've been looking through the last video that I did and I've been reading through some of you guys' comments and you guys are so supportive, so thank you so much for that. I just really get inspired for the day and find peace and understanding when um, I read the Bible. And I just wanna encourage you guys to get in God's Word as well. It doesn't take much, as you can see. It's just setting a schedule and sticking to it. So today I'm drinking orange and spice tea. And the benefits of this orange and spice tea is that it's high in antioxidants. It helps prevent certain cancers. It may strengthen the immune system. It may help lower the risk of cardiovascular disease. And to pair with my orange and spice tea, I have key lime pie. I just cut this up in little pieces right here. So I'll take one of these. Before I eat, let's pray. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this drink and food, for the health and nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. And I just ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with wisdom and understanding as I'm refreshed by your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to take a bite of this. That is excellent. It's just what I needed. Guys, today we are on day 24 of Bible in One Year. So I'll be reading Exodus chapters 28 through 30. If it's your first time joining me, please remember to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Go get your breakfast or your tea. Sip with me. I'm going to start reading. Day 24, moving right along. Exodus 28, 1 through 43. Now take Aaron, your brother, and his sons with him from among the children of Israel, that they may minister to me as priests, Aaron and Aaron's sons, Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. And you shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, for holy and the beauty. So you shall speak to all who are gifted, artisans, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him and the minister to me as priests. And these are the garments which they shall make a breastplate of ephod, a robe, a skillfully woven tunic, a turban, and a sash. So they make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, and his sons, that he may minister to me as priest. They shall take the gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine linen. And then they shall make the ephod of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen artistically worked. It shall have two shoulder straps joined at its two edges, and so it shall be joined together. And the intricately, intricately woven band of the ephod, which is on it, shall be of the same workmanship, made of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. Then ye shall take two onyx stones and engrave them on the names of the sons of Israel, six of their names on one stone and six of the names on the other stone, an order of their birth. With the work of the engraver and stone, like the engravings of a signet, ye shall engrave the two stones with the names of the sons of Israel, and ye shall set them in settings of gold. And you shall put the two stones on the shoulders of the ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel. So Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord on his two shoulders as a memorial. You shall also make settings of gold, and you shall make two chains of pure gold like braided cords, and fasten the braids chains to the settings. You shall make the breastplate of judgment artistically woven according to the workmanship of the ephod. You shall make it of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen you shall make it. It shall be doubled into a square, a span shall be its length, and a span shall be its width. And you shall put settings of stones in it, four rows of stones. The first row shall be a sardius, a topaz, and an emerald. This shall be the first row. The second row shall be a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. The third row, a jacket, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a barrel, an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be set in gold settings. And the stones shall have the names of the sons of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, each one with its own name. They shall be according to the twelve tribes. You shall make chains for the breastplate at the end, like braided cords of pure gold. And you shall make two rings of gold for the breastplate, and put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. Then you shall put the two braided chains of gold and the two rings which are on the ends of the breastplate, and the other two ends of the braided chains you shall fasten to the two settings and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in front. You shall make two rings of gold 
and put them on the two ends of the breastplate on the edge of it, which is on the inner side of the ephod. And two other rings of gold you shall make and put them on two shoulder straps underneath the ephod toward its front, right at the stream. Above the intricately woven band of the ephod, you shall bind the breastplate by means of its rings and the rings of the ephod using a blue cord so that it is above the intricately woven band of the ephod so that the breastplate does not come loose from the ephod. So Aaron shall bear the names of the sons of Israel on the breastplate of judgment over the heart. When he goes into the holy place as a memorial before the Lord continually, and you shall put it in the breastplate of judgment, the Urim and the Cherithim, and they shall be over Aaron's heart when he goes in before the Lord. So Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel over the heart before the Lord continually. You shall make the robe of the ephod all of blue. There shall be an opening for his head in the middle of it. It shall have a woven binding all around its opening, like the opening in a coat of mail, so that it does not tear. And upon its hem you shall make pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet, all around the hem, and the bells of gold between them all around. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe all around. And it shall be upon Aaron when he ministers, and its sound will be heard when he goes into the holy place before the Lord, and when he comes out that he may not die. Then you shall make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it, like the engraving of a signet. You shall put it on a blue cord that it may be on the turban. It shall be on the front of the turban. So it shall be on Aaron's forehead that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things which the children of Israel hallow in all their holy gifts. And it shall always be on his forehead that they may be accepted before the Lord. You shall skillfully weave the tunic of fine linen thread. You shall make the turban of fine linen and you shall make the sash of woven work. For Aaron's sons you shall make tunics, and ye shall make sashes for them, and ye shall make hats for them, for glory and beauty ye shall put them on. And Aaron your brother, on his sons with him, ye shall anoint them, consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister to me as priests. And ye shall make for them linen trousers to cover their nakedness. They shall reach from the waist of their thighs. They shall be on Aaron and on the sons when they come into the tabernacle of meeting, or when they come near to the altar to minister in the holy place, that they do not incur iniquity and die. It shall be a statue forever to him and his descendants after him. And this is what ye shall do to them, to hallow them for ministering to me as priests. Take one young bull and two rams without blemish, and unleavened bread, unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil. Ye shall make them of wheat flour. Ye shall put them in one basket and bring them into the basket, with the bull and the two rams, and Aaron and his sons you shall bring to the door of the tabernacle of meeting. You shall wash them with water. Then you shall take their garments, put the tunic on Aaron, and the robe of the ephod, the ephod of the breastplate, and gird him with the intricately woven band of the ephod. You shall put the turban on his head, and put the holy crown on the turban. You shall take the anointing oil, pour it on his head, and anoint him. Then you shall bring his sons, and put tunics on them, and you shall gird them with sashes. Aaron and his sons, and put the hats on them. The priesthood shall be theirs for a perpetual statute, and ye shall consecrate Aaron and his sons. Ye shall also have the bull brought before the tabernacle of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall put their hands on the hand of the bull. Then ye shall kill the bull before the Lord by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Ye shall take some of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, and pour all the blood beside the face of the altar. And ye shall take all the fat that covers the entails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and burn them on the altar. But the flesh of the bull, with its skin and its offal, ye shall burn with fire outside the camp, in its a sin offering. Ye shall also take one ram, and Aaron and his son shall put their hands on the head of the ram, and ye shall kill the ram, and ye shall take its blood and sprinkle it all around on the altar. Then you shall cut the ram in pieces, wash its entrails with its legs, and put them with its pieces and with its head. And you shall burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to the Lord. It is a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. You shall also take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall put their hands on the head of the ram. Then you shall kill the ram and take some of its blood and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron and on the tip of the right ear of his sons on the thumb of their right hand and on the big toe of their right foot, and sprinkle the blood all around on the altar. You shall take some of the blood that is on the altar and some of the anointing oil and sprinkle it on Aaron and on his garments 
on his sons and on the garments of his sons with him. And he and his garments shall be hallowed, and his sons and his sons' garments with him. Also ye shall take the fat of the ram, the fat tail, the fat that covers the entrails, the fatty lobe attached to the liver, the two kidneys, and the fat on them, the right thigh, for it is a ram of consecration, one loaf of bread, one cake made with oil, and one wafer from the basket of the eleven bread that is before the Lord. And you shall pull all these in the hands of Aaron, and in the hands of his sons, and you shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. You shall receive them back from their hands, and burn them on the altar as a burnt offering, as a sweet aroma before the Lord. It is an offering made by fire to the Lord. Then you shall take the breast of the ram of Aaron's consecration, and wave it as a wave offering before the Lord, and it shall be your portion. And from the ram of the consecration you shall consecrate the breast of the wave offering, which is waved, and the thigh on the heave offering, which is raised of that which is for Aaron, and that which is for his sons. And that shall be from the children of Israel, for Aaron and his sons by a statue forever. For it is a heave offering. It shall be a heave offering from the children of Israel, from the sacrifices of their peace offerings, that is, their heave offering to the Lord. And the holy garments of Aaron shall be his sons after him, to be anointed in them, to be consecrated in them. The son who becomes priest in this place shall put them on seven days. And when he enters the tabernacle of meeting to minister in the holy place, he shall take the ram of consecration and boil its flesh in the holy place. Then Aaron and his sons shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is on the basket by the door of the tabernacle of meeting. They shall eat those things which the atonement was made to consecrate and to sanctify them. But an outsider shall not eat them because they are holy. And if any of the flesh of the consecration offerings or of the bread remains until the morning, then you shall burn the remainder with fire. It shall not be eaten because it is holy. Thus you shall do to Aaron and his sons according to all that I have commanded you. Seven days you shall consecrate them. And you shall offer a bull every day as a sin offering for atonement. And you shall cleanse the altar when you make atonement for it. And you shall anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days you shall make atonement for the altar and sanctify it. And the altar shall be most holy. Whatever touches the altar must be holy. Now this is what you shall offer on the altar. Two lambs on the first year, day by day continually. One lamb you shall offer in the morning. And the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. With one lamb shall be one-tenth of an ephod a flour mixed with one-fourth of a hen of pressed oil and one-fourth of a hen of wine as a drink offering. And the other lamb you shall offer at twilight, and you shall offer it with its grain offering and the drink offering as in the morning for a sweet aroma, an offering made by fire to the Lord. This shall be a continually burnt offering throughout your generations at the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord, where I will meet with you, and there I will meet with the children of Israel and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. So I will consecrate the tabernacle of meeting and the altar. I will also consecrate both Aaron and his sons to minister to me as priests. I will dwell among the children of Israel and will be their God. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God, who brought them up out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. Exodus chapter 31 through 38. You shall make an altar to burn incense on it, and you shall make it a kea wood. A cubit shall be its length, and a cubit its width. It shall be square, and two cubits shall be its height. Its thorns shall be of one piece with it, and you shall overlay its top, its sides, all around, and its horns with pure gold, and you shall make for it molding of gold all around. Two, ring, two gold rings you shall make for it, under the molding on both of its sides. You shall place them on its two sides, and they will be holders for the poles with which to bear it. You shall make the poles of the kea wood and overlay them with gold, and you shall put it before the veil that is before the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn on it sweet incense every morning. When he tends the lambs, he shall burn incense on it. And when Aaron lights the lamps at twilight, he shall burn incense on it, perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. You shall not offer strange incense on it, or a burnt offering, or a grain offering, nor shall you pour a drink offering on it. And Aaron shall make atonement upon its horns once a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonement. Once a year he shall make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, When you take the senses of the children of Israel for their number, then every man shall give a ransom for himself to the Lord. When you number them, and there may be no plague among them, and you, and you number them. 
This is what everyone among you are numbered shall give, half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Then half a shekel shall be an offering to the Lord. Everyone included among those who are numbered from 20 years old and above shall give an offering to the Lord. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When you give an offering to the Lord to make atonement for yourselves, he shall take atonement money of the children of Israel and shall anoint for the service of the tabernacle of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord to make atonement for yourselves. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, You shall also make a laver of bronze with its base, also a bronze of washing. Ye shall put it between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and ye shall put water in it. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet in water from it. When they go into the tabernacle of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister, to burn an offering made by fire to the Lord, they shall wash with water lest they die. So they shall wash their hands and their feet lest they die. And it shall be a statute forever to them, to him and his descendants throughout their generations. Moreover, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Also take for yourself quality spices, 500 shekels of liquid, myrrh, half a sweet-smelling cinnamon, 250 shekels, 250 shekels of sweet-smelling cane, 500 shekels of cassia, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, and a hen of olive oil. You shall make from them a holy anointing oil, an anointment compounded according to the ark of the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. With it, you shall anoint the tabernacle of meeting and the ark of the testimony, the table of all its utensils, the lampstand and its utensils, and the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils and the laver and its base. You shall consecrate them that they may be most holy. Whatever touches them must be holy. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister to me as priests. And you shall speak to the children of Israel saying, this shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on man's flesh, nor shall you make any other like it according to its composition. It is holy and it shall be holy to you. Whoever compounds any like it, whoever puts any of it on an outsider, shall be cut off from its people. And the Lord said to Moses, Take sweet spices, stactite, and onkeite, and galbium, and pure frankincense with these sweet spices. There shall be equal amounts of each. You shall make of these an incense, a compound according to the art of the perfumer, salted, pure, and holy. And you shall beat some of it very fine, and put some of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of meeting, where I will meet with you. It shall be most holy to you. But as for the incense which you shall make, you shall not make any for yourselves according to its composition. It shall be to you holy for the Lord. Whoever makes any like it to smell it, he shall be cut off from his people. And tomorrow we'll be in Exodus 31 and we'll be on day 25 of Bible in one year. So let me know what you think about today's reading. And thank you so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tippy. I hope you enjoyed the daily reading. Please remember to join me tomorrow and share, comment, like, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Time with Tippy, where we sip on tea so flavory, eat treats so savory, and enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. Have a blessed day. Until next time.